Hello, I'm Michal. And I'm Cable. He, he's Caleb. Oh, but... Sorry, sorry, Cable. Yeah. I've been playing this game with cables called a uh, uh, filament. filament. That is a sci fi Caleb, uh, cable, cable based puzzler. I'm with the story. I'm Caleb. This is cable based. Yeah. The story yeah. is you are an unnamed pilot who finds a ship adrift in space and you board it. It's called the Alabaster. That's not important, but you should know. And you realize that the pilot is locked in the cockpit and you have to free her by going through a lot of locking mechanisms. And meanwhile, the pilot is talking to you through the intercom and telling you a story of the ship and her life. And the game consists of two parts. The first part is that you walk on the ship, you explore it, uh, you find uh, different logs, or you hack into the computer, so you have a more of a backstory. And you can choose puzzles at your own pace, because as you explore the ship, you can choose which to do first. Mm -hmm. So if it's too hard for you, some of them you can try different ones and then go back to that but difficult one later but the meat of this game is the puzzles yeah. as soon as you engage one of the puzzles then you take the shape of a little robot that you send into the little locking me mechanism who has a cable behind him and he has to connect these different pillars has to connect all the pillars in the room to be able to open the door which sounds simple except that then the cables start the pillars started getting arranged in very very difficult positions and you cannot cross over your own cable on top of that the game starts introducing lots of different mechanics like there are pillars that if you touch them it turns off your cable you have to use several robots at once you have to match the colors you have to go through screens rather than connect pillars. lots of stuff it gets quite challenging quite fast it's divided to actually the 300 levels. So each mechanic will give you a few levels before another one is introduced. Mm -hmm. So the game is a bit challenging, more than you are probably used to. But the question is, should, should you, you play, play it? it? But first you should know that this game is going to be completely free from the Epic Game Store the week of November 3rd, 2022. Claim it, keep it in your library, install it whenever you want a challenging puzzler. And that's what we do on this channel. We play and review every free game from the Epic Game Store. So subscribe so you never have to be bored again. It's really sometime we had a puzzler mm -hmm. at Epic Game Store. So mm -hmm. I was really, really looking forward to play it. It looks good, sounds good, the story reveals itself slowly, mm -hmm. so it gets you interested later in the game, mm -hmm. I would say. And the puzzler, since it's the core of the game, it's really challenging. Yeah. And may, I would say maybe too hard even for me, but because you have a chance to do the hard one later, mm -hmm. you can explore the ship as well, I would say this is a great game for mm -hmm. everybody who likes puzzles. You really need to love the genre yeah. to fully enjoy it. So I say, yes, mm. you should play this game. You probably won't finish all 300 levels by your own, but it's worth it even for just few. Yeah, I really agree. This game reminded me that I really like puzzlers, which I had kind of forgotten about that genre, but this one does the three things that every good puzzler does. One is that it's just challenging enough to make you think it's impossible, and then you find that one little key and it has, it's extremely satisfying. Okay. Two is that it keeps changing up the mechanics, so mm -hmm. your brain constantly has to think in a slightly different way and it constantly is engaging. Mm -hmm. And three, as you mentioned, if you, you, you're not gonna get stuck on one puzzle because you can back away, go to a different area with different mechanics. And yeah. this is really important, kind of the witness style of, of puzzling. And I think that's really important. So you're never gonna have to like quit the game. You can step away, you can try different puzzles, but with 300 really challenging kind of brain teasers, you really get your money worth, especially when it's free. So yeah. it is an easy yes for me, not for fans, just of like action games and shooters, definitely. Um, but it, this is this is a really great game, so definitely pick it up. So let us know down in the comments if you like this game or if you are going to give it a try. And let us know how many levels did you complete it without looking on the internet how to solve it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. See you. Bye. Bye.